Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just going to give you a quick preview of Snow Leopard, the new version, which is uh, coming out very soon. It's already hit the final version. This 10A432 is supposed to be the last build, so I just went ahead and thought I'd give it a try. Uh, as you can see, I have an old computer. It's about three years old, so um, it's not going to run as fast, but uh, the new Snow Leopard actually works really well, and uh, it might even give it a performance boost. Installation was really quick, it took about half an hour total. And I actually did get some space back, I got 6 gigabytes back. So that was nice. Um, biggest new change is QuickTime Player, I think, uh, in terms of apps. Uh, new icon, I'm using QuickTime Player to record the screen. So you can make a screen recording, audio recording, movie recording from the iSight camera. Um, the interface is completely different. Uh, you can see it's really sleek with the black, and there's really no controls. Um, kind of like the full screen mode, but it's like this all the time. And you swipe over to get uh, the controls. So it's just a really immersive experience. You can watch the movie uh, without any interruptions and uh, no visual clutter. Really sleek. And you just hit this button and you can send a video to iTunes, YouTube, whatever. You can also trim it just like an iMovie. You just drag this around and, uh, you know, you can move it around and uh, hit the trim button and it'll trim it. So I think it's a, it's a really good upgrade and you get all of the features that you used to get in QuickTime Pro uh, for free. I think people were always uh, asking for, you know, why they charge for QuickTime Pro. So now they actually give all the features free. So very good update. Uh, the Finder is supposed to have been rewritten. Uh, it's supposed to be a lot faster. I think a uh, few things that pop out for me, um, you can resize thumbnails on the fly with this little slider. Uh, really helpful when you're looking, poking around with files and trying to find what, what file you need. Uh, apparently it goes up to 512 by 512. Uh, so that's definitely very useful. Uh, you can, when you get bigger um, icons going, you can preview an icon just by mousing over it and hitting play and this works for videos too so that's that's kinda nice so just giving a little bit more functionality to the finder uh, it's, it's pretty useful definitely uh, mail iCal address book are all 64-bit all the native applications are 64-bit from what I understand basically um, as far as what we need to know is it makes it faster uh, so What's useful for me is that you can take your iCal and you can take your address book and um, hook it up and sync with Google, Yahoo, or MobileMe. So that's something I've been waiting for because I'm a, I'm a heavy Google user. And so now my address book and my iCal are synced with Google Calendar automatically. I don't have to use a third-party application. Mail is noticeably faster. It's a lot faster. Um, you know, you just click... Uh, it's it, you'll just notice it right away. Um, searching is a million times faster uh, than before. I mean, not literally a million times, but it, it feels noticeably faster. So it's it's so much faster that I, I'm actually using mail instead of Gmail. I've been using Gmail as my main um, source for mail, but I'm, I'm actually using the mail client now because it's so much faster. So highly recommend it, check it out. System prefs, um, everything pretty much works. I haven't got dug really deep, but you get a lot more. Uh, you got some new wallpapers here, like art. Uh, you get some Monet, and uh, you know they've got Snow Leopard just for the Snow Leopard theme, which is you know nice. Uh, so yeah, they give you some good wallpapers couple of small refinements. You can finally have the date in the menu bar. I've been wanting this since I first changed to Mac and, and Tiger. So finally you can put the date. Um, you also get Wi-Fi, signal strength, and security, something which they probably should have had a long time ago, but they finally do have it, which is nice. Um, you can put back stuff that's in the trash just by right-clicking. Uh, again, something that should have been there before, but they finally did add it in. Uh, Safari is is very fast now. Uh, the same Safari that's supposed to have been, you know, so fast is has just gotten 
a lot faster uh, under Snow Leopard. I think it's because of the 64-bit. If you go to this page right here, en Enhancements and Refinements on the Apple website, it tells you all the different enhancements. Uh, and you can just go through and, and get an idea. Um, Stacks is nice. You get nice big icons. If you can use it as an app launcher, and you can uh, actually scroll finally, which was something they didn't have before. And it, I think it's a little snappier than you, it used to be. And you can drill down to folders, so that's um, that's really nice with a nice big open and finder. Um, list is the same, and stacks are the same, as far as I know. Um, the whole dock has been changed, now, now it's got this charcoal look to it. And uh, dock has a little more functionality, now it works with expose. So if you hold down the button in the dock, it'll show you the window for that application. So let me open up some windows, and there you go. So it shows you mail, um, and it'll, so it kind of activates expose. I still prefer the old way, which is just activate expose and it shows you the windows and here you can see you got um, in expose you've got a nice blue outline and it's very clearly labeled so it makes it easier to uh, choose which window you want and it also does a better job if you have two monitors it will gather the windows on the respective monitors instead of pulling them all to one window so that I, I thought that was uh, a good improvement as well so you know you can definitely check out this page uh, it definitely shuts down and wakes up faster. Um, the startup time, I, I don't know that it's really faster, but uh, it's not bad, you know. Uh, iChat is supposed to have much better resolution with less bandwidth. It's hard to test that unless I have someone else on Snow Leopard, but uh, I did a chat with my sister this morning and it, it worked really well, uh, very clear. And uh, like I said earlier, installation was really easy. I installed it on mine and uh, Donna's laptop, my wife, and worked great, no problem whatsoever. Um, preview is a lot better now. You can, um, it's got better image scaling and resizing, and uh, overall, it's just, it's just better. You can use it instead of Photoshop for a lot of, a lot of different things. So that's pretty much it. You can, you can look through all of these and find the. Uh, you can find the different thing. This multi-touch. This is kind of misleading. Um, all Mac notebooks with multi-touch trackpads now support three and four finger gestures, but I have an older, I guess mine is not multi-touch, I mean it supports two fingers, but uh, you're not going to get the three and four finger gestures um, on the older computers. I, I tried it, I don't see, the only gestures I get is two fingers to scroll, so newer guys, newer laptops you'll get it, older ones will not get it. Um, a lot, uh, installation was fast, did it from an external hard drive, took 30 minutes. Uh, 30, 35 minutes maximum, so it's very fast. And I did get the six gigabytes back as promised. Uh, if you have an older computer like me, you're probably not gonna be able to take advantage of this OpenCL that much because you don't have graphics processor, but if you have a graphics card, you're gonna get a uh, better performance. But I would say this, this update does, I think, help make it leaner and quicker so if, even if you have an older computer as long as it's not power pc because it won't work on power pc but if you have a intel mac it's it's definitely worth the upgrade it's only 30 bucks um, i'm gonna buy it when it comes out uh, even though i already have this but yeah check it out